Hi everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield. I'm a professional dancer, professional dance choreographer, and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States. And I got my VPN camera here on my laptop because we're taking a look at some auditions from the second season of Street Dance Girl Fighter. It is from the second episode. A lot of these auditions we didn't get to see in the actual episode. I have been doing a full episode reaction and so I had had a chance to tackle some auditions already that weren't shown in the initial showing from earlier in the week um, and I got to release those earlier I think yesterday um, and it's really nice that I get to take a look at them here. If you want to see any uh, context behind um, any of the episodes that we are watching together, I have that all on Patreon. That is exclusive to there. But these excerpts are for everybody. So we're going to go ahead and check these out. All right. We got Scoop in the building. Scoop. I think it's interesting how I'm seeing how they are considering the spelling on these. We have a duo. It is fun to see. I like seeing a duo. It is different than seeing a group or a solo. Hey, that was a great moment there. That was cool. Nice. Yeah, so it was fun. It was great energy. I think my dancer in blue, her groove in her pocket is significantly more fluent in this style than my dancer in pink. So that's just, that's my initial thought that I noticed. I noticed it about three eight counts in, maybe two eight counts. How she came up, the energy there was really nice choice. How they dropped it down, they twinkling in. You can tell that one of them chose to go more of a linear side pull and the other one chose to really use the body. Both would be fine with a duo. You want to make sure, especially if you're marrying each other, you want to make sure you're on the same page of what you choose to do because you only have two people, right? You can get away with some things like if you choose to do your own thing, it's easier to justify that with two people. But also if you're doing unison, you only got two people you're looking at to make sure that's unison. Pulling it down. Notice even with the pull up and back in, my dancer in blue, she really created that suspense and my dancer in pink, it just felt more placed. But I like the choreography of this a lot too. Sweet. Yeah, you can just feel da 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 da. Like you feel that the energy of the torso is transitioning and traveling down into the lower half of the body. Really fun. Yeah, that pull. And I know that one of them chose to have her arm up, the other one chose to keep her arms down, and that really looked complimentary to each other. So I did like that. That right there. Boom, boom, boom. That felt a little too placed, I think, if they were closer together. That boom, boom, boom. Like actually grab. That would have felt way more impactful there, um, especially with a bruh, bruh, bah, you know. Uh, so I, that just felt more like this is choreo in that one little moment leading through was nice. One of them choosing to go into more of a, like a on the moon kind of anti-gravity walk. The other one's choosing to go a more animated walk with an isolation. Those are little details that need to be clarified with duos because it's, I already kind of touched on it, but I'll touch on it again here. Whenever you have two people doing the same move, but in different ways, both look fine. But if you are supposed to be complimenting each other in movement quality in an aesthetic and in posture those are little details you have to establish am i isolating with my head am i wanting to create this impression that i have anti-gravity involved or am i wanting to look like i'm gliding across those are all different in how you choose to present yourself so that would be my overall note between these two is is that's why they look a little not that's why they don't look as together as they could be because their ranges of how they're executing with their torsos are off that picture right there duh, you know they placed it that was fun that was a nice moment too move boom throwing the head really great choice having her go down and i will say this normally whoever's being puppeted is the one who has more of the focal point energy my dancer in blue is really taking 
she she has such a captivation in her presence and how she's projecting herself and that was one of the very few times i would say my puppeteer was more captivating People than my puppet did. You see how, how she threw it and dropped it? It doesn't look placed, it feels like it's a part of her portfolio, of her movement quality in general. Yeah, and that was nice to see boom here and da 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 to control that with the head was cool. But I think my just notes just stay the same in all of this. Right there, one of them had it at a 90, one of them had it a little higher, so I'd clarify that. That was really cool. Do, 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 do. That was really fun and matched that run. Da, 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 da. Bleeding it through to the side. Coming up. Yeah, that little da, 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 boom. And that pull was nice. Yeah, so da, 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 da. I think we saw something similar to that in the very beginning, but we're having them finish similar near the tail end. That right there too. Do, 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 do. My suggestion for that is they should have taken instead of a more frontal approach to this, they could have taken a very like da 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 like a Weedem Boys kind of groove pocket on it. I think it would have registered very different than the energy they were projecting in the first half of it. Um, because you want to have ebb and flow, and you want to have this with a lot of your a lot of how you attack a track and this track has has heartbeats naturally in it you don't want to hit them as predictably as the song is suggesting you to so for here even making that choice of switching between a more attacking offensive pocket to a defensive pocket like a more passive one that shows your fluency and understanding your track and having more control over it so those are that's more of a preference note than a they should have done it note but that that would have made this feel more this would have uh, this would have made this feel more separated in a good way and uh but there's still cohesion obviously because of the type of track it is and because of the movement but I, I feel like it be, from the beginning and versus what we're seeing here it feels just like a run-on sentence versus okay we've had here's the end of our paragraph here's a new paragraph same story but uh it's a different topic i guess would be my oh. way to go Ow. through this now they did here instead of doing instead of the partner work they did it to themselves so that was a nice kind of newer way or interesting way to go about that hey. Hey. yeah with the kick there now that was something i saw in a previous group that they didn't they weren't close enough to hit that was an ideal distance to where you would do that kind of visual yeah also no too that it did appear they were starting to run out of steam a little bit because they weren't using their face that is your telltale sign especially if you're a dancer you want to help hide the fact that you're tired do not show it on your face do not pop off with your emotions and then give me nothing near the end. Right there, it does look like they were just doing content. They weren't like, da 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 ah, They weren't in it the whole time up here. And that's how I could tell their fatigue. Not their body, their face. So as they were finishing up, though, yeah, da 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 hey day, boom, that right there. I would say just this whole course, because of what I had said, it does read a little bit more like class choreography because they didn't do as many collaborative duet choices like what you would normally see with a duo, but it is hard to set a duo versus a trio. Having odd numbers in general is easier. <laughs> uh, from and You've heard a plethora of my perspective on that in the group, Reactions. But seeing with a duo, like, you can do a lot of partnering stuff. Um, it can take away your timing. Not timing. It can take away the amount of time that you have. And they don't have a lot of time. Like, they have about maybe a minute to kind of showcase what they got. They did a good job really utilizing that minute. I think they did get in. And um, and I don't remember if they made it onto any teams or not. But I think, I think they could have gotten in with that. I think that was pretty strong. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more Street Dance Girl Fighter content, whether it's Season 1, Season 2, or full episode reactions of either, I have that on patreon i also have street dance china season six actively being reacted to and most of that stuff can't even make it to youtube just from sheer copyright um, and if you want to check out any of that as well as i have k-pop and any dance content in general i love watching dance regardless of where it comes from um, because i think it's just there's just such beauty and art from around the world and i'm very excited that i get to do that here in this position with Korea, Street Dance Girl Fighter, and abroad. So this has been awesome. I am Jess, and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.